Good day, good evening, and good night, LS11 Universe. I am the Quizmaster, I'm the Doctor, and welcome to Xandermania 7. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Xander stage of the all, the culmination of the first season of LSWF. And we are kicking things off tonight with the United States Championship on the line. Indeed we are my Time Lord co-commentating companion as Ethan Ace of the Gang makes his way to the ring. That is right, this has been a bitter rivalry brewing between Ethan Ace and DJ Danger for months now, ever since the week after the Royal Rumble where Ethan Ace wanted his rematch against yours truly for the US title. DJ Danger would find his way into the matchup by gaslighting Connell, who was the GM on that night, making it a triple threat match. Ethan would hit me with the pile driver, and DJ would throw him out of the ring, stealing the pin and becoming the new United States Champion. Indeed he did, and now tonight, Ethan Ace puts it all on the line to attempt to become the new United States Champion. Indeed he does, but now, here comes the current LSWF United States Champion. DJ Danger gonna make his way to the ring. The winner of this matchup not only reigns as the LSWF United States Champion as we head into the second season of LSWF on the Xenomania After Party tomorrow, but they also become the official leader of the gang within LSWF. Here it comes DJ Danger. Indeed he does, DJ Danger going to make his way to the ring now, looking to, looking to keep himself as the face of the United States within LSWF, wearing a very fitting attire for the occasion. Indeed he is, DJ Danger, known for running his mouth, known for never shutting up, always talking himself up, and tonight he looks to back that up against Ethan in the ring. He's got to do that to get through and stay United States Champion. So DJ Danger making his way down to the ring. So DJ Danger makes his way down to the ring now. The current United States Champion is here. Indeed he is. DJ Danger is a man I've had a few run-ins with in my own time. Both of these men are very good in the ring, but tonight we find out which of them is truly the best of the best within the gang. That is right, the United States Championship going to be up for grabs here in the opening contest of Xandamania. So the challenger, Ethan Ace. And of course the champion, DJ Danger. So DJ Danger and Ethan Ace. Gang warfare about to go down. These two men have faced off in the past as well. Back in the very first episode of kickoff. So DJ going to hand the title over. Will it be for the last time tonight? Will DJ Danger be able to take down Ethan Ace and keep that United States Championship? Or will Ethan Ace prove himself as the ace of LSWF with a victory tonight? We're about to find out the first match of Xandamania is about to go down. Any further ado, here we go. Ethan Ace starts off with a big slap. Ethan Ace swings through. Oh, DJ caught him though. DJ Danger catches him on the rebound, sends him over the top rope and Danger Swings him around now, DJ going to start punching him in the face, in the chest now, clobbering him in the chest repeatedly. Ethan Ace feeling the effects. Ethan Ace goes down. DJ going to slide out of the ring behind him here. It's a real game of tug of war here with these two. Who's going to be the better man? Who's going to have the advantage? These two know each other very well, and only one of them can walk out tonight as United States Champion. At least the gang walks out tonight with one title guaranteed, so they've got that going for him. As, oh! DJ Danger thrown into the ring post by Ethan Ace. Ethan Ace goes down in the heat. DJ Danger now in hot pursuit back into the ring behind him. Oh, Ethan counters with a kick to the gut now. Ethan Ace catches DJ Danger now, throws him across the ring, over the top rope, out of the ring he goes. 
Ethan tries to dive but lands flat. That is not a good position to land in if you're Ethan Ace. It's going to hurt your tailbone. Could put you out. Oh! Ethan Ace taking out the arm though. Ethan Ace going to fire back here now as Ethan Ace has DJ Danger down. Picking him back up to his feet now. Ethan Ace looking to turn things back around. Ethan Ace back into the ring now. Inviting DJ Danger to join him back in the ring now. DJ follows. Oh, DJ with a knee strike. DJ Danger now firing away on Ethan Ace. Trying to knock him back into the corner. Brings the knee up into the ribs. And again takes him down. DJ Danger now grabs Ethan Ace. Knee into the face of the Ace. And DJ Danger's feeling fired up after that one. Ethan Ace pops back up. First shot. DJ Danger. Oh, what a kick to the face. Takes him down. Going to a cover for the one. Two, no. DJ Danger takes him down. DJ grabs onto Ethan Ace, getting him back up to his feet now. DJ Danger with a kick and a punch now. DJ Danger staying on top. Hip toss from Ethan Ace takes him down. Ethan Ace now feeling fired up here, trying to make it, trying to have the first Xandamania moment of the year. Ethan Ace now floats over, taking him down. And Ethan Ace grabs onto DJ Danger, pulls him in. Ethan Ace. Grabs Danger. Oh, takes him down. And Ethan Ace now wrenching back on the arm of DJ Danger. Trying to put him out here is Ethan Ace. Ethan Ace is down. DJ Danger turns him over. And DJ into a cover for the one. No. Kick out from DJ Danger. Ethan Ace desperate to become a, a two-time United States champion right now. Pulling back. No. DJ Danger with a punch to the face. Knocks him back. And now DJ Danger bringing the knees in. Elbow strike takes him down. Knee to the face of Ethan. DJ Danger now trying to turn things around too. No! Ethan Ace kicks out. DJ Danger has got him down. And DJ Danger ready for battle now. Danger has got Ace down. DJ. Knee to the ribs. Right hook kicks him in the knees. Roundhouse kick to the head. DJ Danger looking to stay on top here. Could be moments away. From keeping that United States title, getting the first victory of Xenomania 2023. And now DJ Danger grabs onto him, pulls him in, and DJ with Ethan up on his shoulder. DJ Danger, stun gun, takes him down. Ethan Ace down in a heap. DJ Danger stomping away on him now. Takes him down again, and DJ Danger has him down, pulling back on the arm now. DJ Danger. With Ethan Ace down, DJ knees into the back, taking down Ethan Ace. DJ goes out of the ring now, and DJ... Oh, what are you doing, DJ? It's not no disqualifications. Well, if he gets disqualified... Oh, Ethan turns it around. I'm being told now, yes, indeed, the match was no disqualifications. It's just apparently we weren't informed. It sounds about right for management in this company. Oh! What a kick to the face from DJ Danger. Well, Ethan Ace now knocks him off the ropes. Ethan Ace takes him down. And now Ethan Ace looking to bring some hardware into the matchup. He's got a chair. Oh! DJ Danger looked to fly and instead he crashed and burned. As now Ethan Ace leveling him with the steel chair. DJ Danger is down. Ethan Ace staying on top now. But DJ Danger trying to turn it around. Pulls him in. DJ with A. Whoa, he's got him up. Powerbomb into the apron. Taking him down there with a powerbomb on the apron. DJ Danger now going out of the ring. Kendo stick in hand. And Ethan Ace and DJ Danger. Oh, Ethan Ace got the better. God, the chair swung faster than DJ could swing the kendo stick. Ethan Ace got the better of the exchange with weapons. And now DJ with a punch to the gut. DJ Danger grabs onto Ethan Ace. Sends him into the ring, into the ring post. DJ Danger is taking him down. And DJ feeling fired up here. DJ realizing he might have the match won. Ethan right behind him though. Ethan knocking him back. Ethan Ace grabs onto DJ Danger. Pulls him in. Takes him down. Ethan Ace. Floats over, he's got DJ down. Ethan Ace picks up that kendo stick. That kendo stick is one good swing away from shattering just like that. And now DJ Danger rolls back into the ring. And DJ Danger, oh, Danger's gotten cocky. 
Ethan scoops him up, spikes him. One, two, three. And just like that, DJ Danger's ego got the best of him. Indeed it has, DJ Danger comes up short tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a new champion. That is right, we have got a new champion in LSWF. And his name is Ethan Ace. We have got a new LSWF United States Champion, Ethan Ace. Now, a two-time champion. Ethan Ace picks up the victory, regains his United States Championship. A huge victory there. Indeed it is, Ethan Ace with the victory. We got plenty more coming up on LSWF Xandermania 2023. But that's going to be it for me for now. I'm going to get ready for my match. Xander will be here for the Faux Memorial Battle Royal. Indeed he will. We are now on to that matchup. So indeed, folks, we now move on to the Bo Memorial Battle Royal. That is right, LSWF World Champion and General Manager Zandu Carver here now. Joining commentary for the next couple of matchups to give the dog a break. Give Papa Doc time to rest up before his match. This Bo Memorial Battle Royal dedicated to my late great-great-grandfather who did a lot for me in my life. This battle royal dedicated to him. The Nanny Memorial Battle Royal tonight for the women dedicated to my great-grandmother. Two of them meant a lot to me. Part of why I am the way I am today. Part of the reason I am the man I am today. As speaking of men here today, here comes the tank, William Stiles. Quite the transitional introduction there. Yes, indeed it has. So, William Styles, the first man out to the ring tonight out of the eight that are here. Out next, here comes the Emperor. What's the status? Making his way to the ring. Yes, indeed, what's the status out here first tonight? What's the status? Could have a huge victory on his hands here if he were to win tonight. That is right, the winner of this matchup gets a guaranteed shot at a championship of their choice on a name day. It is not like money in the bank. Essentially, you win, you say, hey, I want to fight for this title on this day. So, out next, the third man in this Bo Memorial Battle Royal is going to be Zach Parker making his way down to the ring. A man once known as Z-Train. Indeed, once, in, once involved in the gang, no longer in the group. Now on his own, trying to figure out just what to do. Absolutely. Yeah! Zach Parker, the next man out. Who's going to be number four? Well, out next. Here comes Matthew Blade to the ring. And that's WF original signing. Of one of the first signings to the company. Indeed, we haven't seen too terribly much of him as of late, but Matthew Blade is going to be the next man stepping into the matchup tonight. The fourth man, the halfway mark of the entries being revealed for the Nanny Memorial Battle Royal. That is right, out next though is going to be, oh I get to say the thing, I'm glad I'm on commentary tonight. Why is your name a number? Michael 3. Yes indeed. Michael 3 going to be the next man out. And if you don't see yourself here tonight, that means you probably submitted your character a little too late for Xandermania. But hey, the Xandermania after party airs tomorrow night. It's going to be the final 2K22 video that I take part in on this channel. Everything moves to 2K23 with the exception of Ray's upcoming New Japan show like we talked about earlier in Down Full Gear. Because, well, there weren't many New Japan creations at the time I decided to do it. So, Michael 3 going to be the next man in this matchup. Yes, tomorrow will be the final 2K22 video I create that goes on this channel. The Xandermania After Party. New stars, new stories, all sorts of stuff. New matches and everything all tomorrow on the After Party. Yes, indeed, is who is going to be the sixth man stepping into the Bo Memorial Battle Royal. Well, number six, the third from the last, is going to be the silent killer of LSWF. Matthew Danger making his way to the ring. A man I've yet to step in the ring with. 
Likewise, Matthew Danger is a man we've seen very little of. That is right. We got more coming up, though. Number seven. We are just kind of flying through the entrances tonight. That's what happens at a battle royal. The second to last entry. Well, it is the return. It's the return tonight of Brandon to the ring. We haven't seen him in a little while, so he is making his LSWF return. A bit of a new gear tonight. Yes, indeed. So Brandon going to make his way to the ring here. New gear on, new hood and everything. Interesting. As he makes his way down to the ring, Brandon. Who's going to be the last man in this battle royal? I should know. I have filled out the participants. The final man in. He declared himself quite a while ago. Xander number three making his way to the ring. Yes, my occasional broadcast colleague is going to be the final man in, and I hope he fares well. You know, you had an opportunity to be in this matchup. Yes. Why did you not take the opportunity? Well, it was not my place to take the spot from a normal roster member, someone who wrestles week in, week out, like the eight men we see here who do all rest, wrestle in this ring week in and week out. If I were a champion, that would be different from being at Xandomania, but because I am not a full-time competitor, I did not want to take a spot in this lucrative battle royal. Well, we're just going right out of the gate here. Everyone going after everyone. It's going to be a mosh pit. It's an eight-man battle royal. There's not much else to say. I'm just kind of here to watch the chaos and see who's going to end up getting a title shot for a belt of their choosing. Who's going to be the first one eliminated is always going to be a fun question in a battle royal like this. As Matthew Danger beating the hell out of Zach Parker. Xander number three taking out the legs of Brandon. Michael three chopping the hell out of William Styles. Zach Parker put in the corner out by Matthew Danger. And Xander number three, oh, huge suplex to Brandon. Brandon goes down. You have to wonder who will be the first man gone in a matchup like this. That first elimination is lucrative to the success of all other men in this matchup. Well, it could be Zach Parker, but he hangs on. But oh, look down in the corner. Brandon in some trouble here. Zander number three. Flips him over. Oh! Brandon's the first one gone. Indeed, he is. Brandon eliminated from the matchup tonight. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that, that's for sure. Comes back with another new gimmick and ends up being the first one eliminated. Well, we'll probably see him on the after party tomorrow. Maybe that'll maybe we'll have better luck there. As now Matthew Blit, Matthew Danger beating the hell out of Zach Parker. Status coming off the ropes with knees to the back of Michael Three. Whoa! Zen number three putting up a hell of a show here. Just eliminates Matthew Danger, another man gone in this matchup. Now, standing shooting star from Matthew Blade to Zach Parker. Goes for another one, Zen number three now. Getting, getting William Styles back up. Look at this. Huge back body drop. Zen number three could do the unthinkable and win the whole thing. Now Zach Parker eliminates Matthew Blade. Number three trying to get rid of William Styles here. Zach Parker, roundhouse kick to Xander number three. And then back. Oh, a big Spanish fly there to Status. William Styles now forearm strike attempt to Zach Parker. And Zach Parker grabs onto him. Standing Spanish fly of his own. Well, it looks like the Emperor Status could be gone. No. Status hanging on. Need the face of Michael three. Zach Parker trying to eliminate Xander number three who goes over the top rope. You know, you ask why Michael Three's name is a number. Why is Xander number three's name a number? His name is not a number. He is Zan his name is Xander, but he is number three because he was the third of the Xanders. So number three is just his nickname. I see. Is that how you explain it? Yes, it is. As Zach Parker runs the ropes, arm drag taking down Xander number three. William Styles with a knee to the face. What's the status? Comes off the ropes. Big sliding flatliner to Zach Parker, William Styles now. Stands over Xander number three, grabs hold of him. Dragging him back into the ring now, and now William Styles forearm strikes repeatedly. Trying to bring the hammer down. Close line. Taking down Xander number three. And now Status comes off the ropes. Knees into the back. And William Styles takes down Xander number three. Oh, he's tying up the legs. Turns him around, William Styles. 
Grabs him and stomps him. Oh, Michael Thur eliminates status. Half the playing field has been taken out of the mix now. Zen and the three having elbows slammed into him repeatedly. William Styles with the right hooks. Grabs onto him. Huge clothesline. William Styles, the biggest man in the match, putting up a hell of a fight right now. Gut check to Michael Three. St Staying on top now is William Styles. He grabs onto Michael Three and eliminates him. Xander number three with a right hook knocking him back. And Xander number three now scooped up by Zach Parker. Oh, it could be the end of the night for Xander number three, who is launched to the center of the ring. And now gets him back up. Zach Parker with Xander number three. Scoops him up on his shoulders. And now Zach Parker, stun gun. Xander number three going down. Oh, knee to the face from Xander number three. And now Xander number three gets caught. Zach Parker putting him in the rope. Zach Parker, super kick. Xander number three is gone. And now Zach Parker, German suplex in two. Ripcord Lariat. The hammer's been brought down. Oh, went for a cutter though. William Styles kicked in the ribs now. William Styles has his arm bent back. Zach Parker now running the ropes. Parker with an arm drag to, to William Styles who go, goes down and now Styles right back to his feet. Spine Buster takes down Zach Parker. Parker goes down. Zach Parker eliminated by William Styles. William Styles has won the Bow Memorial Battle Royal. The game crashed the last time we did this, so that's that's why. If you ever see me playing with someone, 99% of the time it means that, that they've won the match already, and I'm having to re-record the match, so I'm not taking their victory away from them. Show out in the comments. Show out in the live chat, right? Cool. Going back to character mode now, Quiz Master. You can start talking. Okay, thank you. Just thank me. No. Anyways, William Styles picks up the victory. We got plenty more. I'm here for one more match. Then Xander number three will hop on commentary for a little while. And then the rest of the show will be back to the original commentary duo. Indeed, as now it is time for a fatal four-way tag team match. That is right, the family tree, the first team out here tonight in this elimination matchup. The last team standing tonight will be the winners and the LSWF Tag Team Champions. Jace Scribner and River making their way out to the ring first. The Family Tree making their way down to the ring. Absolutely now. Colton, Colton's brother and cousin. One half of the tag team champions. He's been very, very heated against these two in the Discord as of late. And now the night. Jace and River have made their way to the ring. So out next, because 2K games are weird, I don't know if they fixed this in 23. I haven't checked yet. If they haven't, I wouldn't be surprised. Here come the LSWF tag team champions. And... R.W. And I want nothing more than a Watchmen fan. I thought you were not supposed to show bias as general manager. Well, when their little ringleader Hanzo is going to be fighting me in the main event, I'm going to show a little bias today. Fair enough. And uh, when Colton wants to run his mouth about how he should be the, ne the new number one contender because he pinned me because Hanzo decided to get involved in my match again, then I'm going to talk some crap. Fair enough, I stand for it, Mr. General Manager. Keep going. Good, I knew you'd like my way of thinking about this. So, Jace and Shinobi are gonna make their way down to the ring tonight. The tag team champions, the unrightful tag team champions. Hell, I'd be willing to pull double duty tonight if Hanzo hadn't cost me my match like a coward. So, Colton and Shinobi making their way down to the ring. You know it's only a matter of time before Colton turns his back on an RW. He already turned his back on the gang. Absolutely. Now Colton, he's a backstabbing traitor. Exactly. So 
Colton and Shinobi making their way down to the ring. They step into the ring here. Colton and Shinobi have made their way down to the ring. NRW ready to defend those titles. They unrightfully won. But we still have two other teams to make their way to the ring here tonight, folks. Colton and Shinobi have made their way down. Out next. Well, we don't, we don't see him very often, do we? No, we do not. Xander number five is going to be the next man in this matchup. The man of a million and... The, the man of a thousand and four was making his way to the ring. Xander number five is undefeated at Xander Mania events. He is two and zero oh at Xander Mania. In the seven Xander Manias we had now, this could be his. This could be three and zero oh in seven Xander Manias because this is for Xander Mania seven here in Hollywood tonight. That is right, but here comes the other. Lead commentator of the show, the man who will be back in time for the trios championships later tonight. Absolutely, the doctor making his way to the ring. The duo known as a timely wah making their way down to the ring tonight. The doctor and Xander number five, an iconic duo in the LS11 universe. They've been, I mean, these two guys have been teaming up since 2015. Somewhere around there is when they first teamed up. And, I mean, to be a team for eight years like that is it's impressive. They never turned their backs on one another. Indeed. And you said Xander number five is undefeated on the Xander stage of them all. Indeed, yes, at the very first Xander Mania, he won a triple threat matchup against Xander number four and three for a number one contender shot at the, at the then YouTube Let's Play Heavyweight Championship. Later became the YouTube Universe Heavyweight Championship. Did he ever get that title match? Uh, two years later, yeah. Two years later, in 2017, he got that shot. Or no, a, I guess a year later in 2017. And his other victory. Xandermania 2017, uh, at the second ever Xandermania, in a ladder match for the Mexican Championship, he would dethrone Xander number three. I see. And now here come a pair of LSWF originals, Marco Rosi and Santana Garcia, making their way down to the ring. A pair of originals who I think probably could be tag team champions any day now if they could just find the right winning combination. They just need that one big victory to become the LSWF tag team champions. Rosie and Garcia making their way down to the ring. They team up with William Styles occasionally to be country dominance or Western powerhouse. We're still kind of deciding between the two. William, you're in chat sometimes. You got a preference? As, uh, here we go. It could be a great night for that trio. William Styles has a shot at gold anytime he wants. And now Rosie and Garcia, they could become tag team champions. That's right, the whole trio could hold gold in the next 24 hours. No, a kick out there from Doc as Colton tries to eliminate him. And now River, suplex to Marco Rosie. It's just going to be a, uh, it's going to be a mosh pit. Probably until there's been a couple of eliminations here. It's going to be very hard to follow a matchup like this. It always is hard to follow matches like this. As you can see, there's a cover going on in the center of the ring that everybody's not even seeing there. As Jace is covering Santana Garcia, who kicks out there. Indeed, so how are we going to handle commentary here? Well, it's simple. We're just not going to do play-by-play. -play. We're just going to kind of talk from that. Because right now, Jace with a knee strike there. But you can see Xander number 5 is covering Shinobi, who kicks out there. And River taking out Marco Rosie. That first elimination is very important in a matchup like this. Absolutely. When you've lost your partner in a matchup like this, I can confirm from experience. When you've lost your partner, it becomes very hard to follow, very hard to stay in a match like this one. So the first person to lose their partner, that's that's a very bad disadvantage that they get put into. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we'll be seeing more of that pretty soon as now. You, know, you can see River bending back the arm of Marco Rosie and stomping on it. There's a kick from Santana Garcia knocking down Xander number five. And oh, Jace taking down Santana. Remember, just seven nights ago on LSWF kickoff, Jace Scripton would get a win in a fatal four match involving Marco Rosie, the doctor, and most importantly, his brother Colton. 
Yes, indeed. Jace would pin his older brother on that night, sending a message to the other seven men in the matchup, that the, or the other six men in the matchup, they would be the that the family tree is coming for the LSWF World Tag Team Championships. Yeah, most certainly is now. Marco Rosa has got River on the outside of the ring. Jace has got Santana Garcia down. Half of the team, half the members are on the outside, half the members on the inside. You can only score Ken Follow's admission inside the ring right now. As a big insult there takes down Marco Rosi into a cover from Jace. There's one, two, kick out. And now Marco Rosi has got River locked in a cross face on the outside. That's a dangerous place to be with River right now. You can get knocked out, and that would leave Jace in essentially a seven on one situation. And that is not a situation you would want to be in if you are Jace. Absolutely. As now, Jace has got Santana Garcia up. Big punch to the face, taking him down. And pulling back on the arm is Shinobi. And the first one gone. Suplex on the floor from Rosie. It is any team's game right now. Oh, and Xander number five, day and now Shinobi as well. All eight of these men just going at it in the ring here. That first elimination coming any moment now. Xander number five with a cover, no. Oh, Jace. Caught, power slammed. Shinobi went for a running close one. And now Marco Rosie can score the first elimination. Jace stays in. The first elimination is coming any minute now, I can feel it. I don't know who it's going to be, but one of these four men in the ring is going to be gone momentarily. Super kick. Well, there's one, two, no. I thought it was about to be Shinobi for a moment. River slides back into the ring, though. Decides to get back out, so the four men in the ring are going to stay in the ring. Can we talk about Xander of Five's attire for a minute? Indeed, he's, he's certainly got something going on here. Yeah, something is one way to put it. A hell of an attire for Xander number Five right now. He's looking great. Colton has slid into the ring now. Colton and Shinobi swapping places as Xander of Five takes down Colton. Santana Garcia sending Jace into the corner. We're in a very similar situation as to where we were on kickoff a week ago with Colton and Jace in the ring. Indeed, one of the brothers could pin another soon here. But Santana Garcia comes to do it first, no. Colton just trying to get Xander number five out of his way here. Colton has him down, and now Santana Garcia knows Xander number five taking down Colton. Taking down Jace. The doctor back in the ring now. The doctor and Shinobi going at it. Covered by Xander number five on Colton. Two, no. RW in trouble. The champions being the first one gone would be a bad situation for them. Oh! Zenner of five with the walk. One, two, three. Bad night start for NRW. Zenner number five just eliminated Colton from the match. And now Jace, feet on the ropes, feet on the ropes, one. No, referee stopped it because of that. Shinobi finds a trouble, Luke Cutter to Santana Garcia. Jace could look to score a pinfall here. One, two, no. Well, Shinobi taking down Zen number five for a moment there. It is an uphill battle for Shinobi here. Most certainly it is. Shinobi now. Cross face. Cross face in on Xander number five. Could he be about to tap out? He is wrenching it back on the face. Xander number five could be out of here. Jace goes down. Xander number five stays in it. Something to see a cover. Well, double cover here. Who's this one counting for? There's one. Two. No, Jace kicks out. But Shinobi. Two. Three! Shinobi putting Zen at number five to sleep. The doctor is all alone in this matchup now. The entire family tree and both members of a country dominance are in the matchup right now. 
I think right now the advantage goes to either the, the family tree or country dominance. As now Santana Garcia, no, Shinobi not going to bet. Chase grabs on to Santana Garcia, the doctor slamming Marco Rosie into the, into the barricade and taking him down. Oh, both members of Family Tree in the ring now. Shinobi trying to fight back. And now... Oh, someone's been busted over. I think it's been Marco Rosie. As now Santana Garcia. TKO to Jace. We could be on the verge of another elimination if, if River doesn't pay enough attention. As wait a minute, Jace trying to get... Or River trying to get rid of Shinobi. Jace being covered now by Garcia for the one. Two, River hasn't seen it, no! And now, oh wait a minute. Kill switch to Shinobi! River engages the kill switch. The referee in poor position there for the one. Two, no! I thought the entire I thought the champions were gonna be the first team gone. If Shinobi's eliminated, we are guaranteed new champions. Oh, and everyone's back in the ring now as the doctor kicking him in the head, taking down Marco Rosie. River turns Shinobi over. River stomps the head of Shinobi into the mat. Shinobi might be out of it. Jace taking down Santana Garcia. And now River looking to end it for Shinobi once and for all. Backstabber to the doctor. Kill switch. Engaged! River back into a cover on Shinobi. One, one, two, three. It's over. NRW are fully eliminated. We're guaranteed new champions, and that timely wall could be gone right after. No! Doc kicks out. Oh, and River gets dropped on him by Rose, by Santana Garcia. At this point, we're pretty much guaranteed that either Marco Rosie and Santana Garcia or the family tree will be our new LSWF World Tag Team Champions at the end of the night. That's right, Doctor is in a one-on-four situation. He's not walking out of here with the championship. As now Jace and Santana Garcia have seemingly aligned for a moment here against the Doctor. I guess just trying to get rid of the one wild card in the matchup. They saw what happened to the Royal Rumble when everyone underestimated the Doctor. As now Jace, whoa, Doc turns it around. And with blood going down his face, the Doctor trying to fight back in it. Santana Garcia sends him into the barricades though. Doc in some serious trouble there. The Doctor up against the barricades. Jace grabs onto him. And Jace slams him into the barricade. Oh, and now it looks like it's becoming three on one. Marco Rosie's joined the mix. Santana Garcia's got the doctor, scoops him up, and Santana Garcia, body slam, takes him down. River back in the ring. River just wants one of these guys to get back in the ring. I don't know if River's realized that everyone's just beating up the doc right now. Keep in mind, this man commentates their matches. He should know them inside and out by now. I think it might be why they're all teaming up on him. They are literally ganging up on him three on one right now. And it could become four on one, but oh wait a minute. Garcia's turned around on, on Jace, and now Rivers turns his attention to the doctor. Jace slammed in the floor by Garcia. Santana Garcia taking him down, putting the boots to him now, and Jace is down in a heap on the mat. And now Doc trying to fight back here. Doc has him up. Dropping him on the mat. Down goes. And down he went. Oh, and a cutter from Jace. Cover on Santana. One, two, three. Family Tree has the advantage over every team right now. The Family Tree, two against two. But Rosie and the Doctor are trying to beat the hell out of each other right now. Family Tree have got it right for the picking. They can just pick one man and pick them apart one by one here. Indeed they can. We are guaranteed new champions. And I think we're looking at them right now in the form of Jason River. Because Marco Rosie and the Doctor have clearly not realized to come to an alliance. Or at least Marco Rosie hasn't because Doc is... Doc's been down and out for most of this. Marco Rosie... Oh, Doctor... Elbowing him and knocking him back, and Doctor mouthing off to him a little bit here. As there's a knee strike into another. River telling the Doc to bring it on. 
That is not the kind of man you want to try and egg into a fight, River. Doc back in the ring now. River catches him. River throws him in the corner. And now River grabs onto the Doctor. Oh, the Doctor with a counter. There's a roundhouse kick. Doc grabs onto him and the Doctor pops him up. Drops him in the center of the ring. River goes down. And now Doc kicks him in the knee. Jay's back in the ring. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time rift to River. No. River found the counter, went for the kill switch. Doctor finds the counter now. Counter for counter here between these two. The Doctor will in the face of River. River's down. Doc. Time rift. Cover. One, two, three. And the score has been evened. I don't think Jace realizes it. I agree with you there, Quizmaster. I don't think Jace has realized either that this just became a triple threat. His advantage is gone. His tag partner is gone. And now the Doctor follows them out of the ring. Jace, I think it's finally dawned on him that he's all alone. We're going to see the finish of this matchup any moment now. We're going to have new champions any moment now. As now the Doctor gets Marco Rosi back to his feet. Getting back in the ring now. Jace shoves him in the barricade. And Jace... I mean, I hate to say it here, but if this happens, then I think the family tree might understand how the Atlanta Falcons felt in 2017. Or was it 2018? I don't know. Whatever year it was, they blew that ter that really big lead. I'm from Georgia, so, you know, there were riots in my, in my town. From there. Really? Yep. Marco Rosie gone. And it is down to the doctor and Jace. Knee to the face from the dump. Knee to the back and dump. Lighting up now, pulling back on the arm is the doctor. He has got Jace down. The doctor has him down into a cover. For the one, no. The Doctor is staying on top here, getting him back up to his feet. And Doc now raining in the kicks on Jace. Jace Scribner in some real trouble here. Jace is down. Doc, roundhouse into the head. Kicking him in the ribs now. And the Doctor, oh, what a punch. The Doctor may have ended it. If he hasn't, now he will with Time Rift. Time Rift connects. One, two, three. Never underestimate the Doctor appears to be the moral of the story. The Doctor has once again defied the odds. The Doctor, a timely wall was just here to make it a fatal four-way, but the Doctor pulls out an Iron Man performance was being beat up four-on-one at one point. But then everyone turned their attention away from him just long enough. And the Doctor just captured the LSWF Tag Team Championships. It's almost unbelievable. Look at that, a timely wah. They've been together for years. By seven years, eight years actually, since these two men teamed up for the first time ever. This is the first time they can call themselves champions. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all for the main event where I'll be competing. I won't be commentating, obviously. Well, I am now back here at the table still, and I'm joined by this man. Hello! Z number three here, having uh, joined the mix now. I'm back. Feeling great. Great to be here. How are you feeling after the uh, the Battle Royal, friend? You know, I'm feeling all right, you know. Uh, Zach Parker packed a hell of a kick there. Uh, I've got all my teeth, though, so that's what matters. I can still feel my hands and feet. We're good. Uh, I'm good. You know, I would have liked to have won, but whatever. It's, it's fine. Well, it would seem we are on to the Natty Memorial Battle Royal now, our fourth matchup of the evening. That's right, and if I could hear myself think over all that pyro for the... For the street queen, Amanda Lawrence, then I would say that this matchup is just as important as the Bone Memorial Battle Royal because the woman who wins this matchup 
much like William Styles, the men's championship of his choice, gets a shot at the LSWF Women's World title on a day on a future show of their choice. Here comes the fourth member of NRW. Here comes Chai Breeze to the ring. That is right, Chai Breeze out next in this matchup. So Chai Breeze making her way down to the ring, trying to bring things back after what happened. After what happened in the last matchup for the tag team titles. So the third woman in this matchup tonight is going to be the Goth Queen. That is right, Goth Queen going to be the next woman in this matchup to make her way to the ring. Goth Queen challenging for that championship back at the, uh, the Royal Rumble against the showstopper Elizabeth Bell. Yeah, that's right, she did. She ended up coming up short on that night. It's probably the only time you can ever say that God Queen has been quote-unquote short when it comes to anything. She's an absolute monster of a woman. So out next, the fourth woman in this matchup, the halfway point of entries. That is right, the halfway point comes next with the entry of the Demon Queen, a woman who I've had issues with in the past in the circus, Alice Yuri going to make her way to the ring. That's right, Alice Yuri going to make her way to the ring. Out next, the, the next woman in the matchup here coming out to the ring. One of the first signings to LSWF, the first woman signed to LSWF. Yes, indeed she was, and she seemingly fallen to the wayside as opposed to the other early signings like the showstopper, like the Quiz Queen. Yeah, it kind of seems that way, but out next in this matchup, here comes the daughter of the Exterminator. Here comes Carnold's daughter from the future year. You know, Carnold will be created later this year. This is the year Carnold says he comes from in 2023. This is Carnold's daughter from the year 2063. This is Cammy Zanzenegger. That is right, it seems we've just abandoned the whole uh, mystery behind Cammy here. Cammy Zanzenega, daughter of the Exterminator, makes her way to the ring. So yeah, Cammy makes her way to the ring. We haven't seen her since the Royal Rumble. Out next, here comes Jaden the Heartbreaker to the ring. You talk about women that have close relationships to the LSWF Women's World Champion showstopper Elizabeth Bell. You've got Cammy Zanzenegger, who in all regards could be considered her niece thanks to Connell. But you've also got her best friend and tag team partner, the heartbreaker Jaden, making her way to the ring. That is right, Jaden makes her way down to the ring. Only two women left to enter the matchup. Out next, here comes to the ring the goth rock nightmare, Violet Hawkins. That is right, and without that bumbling buffoon of a general manager, Xander on commentary, getting thrust to the side of a woman with power, we will not be hearing her compared to children's games like Pokemon today. Oh, but I like Pokemon. You would. Violet Hawkins making her way down to the ring tonight. Hawkins has been a mainstay of the women's division for quite some time now. And I think tonight could be her night to turn things around. It very well could, but her next opponent is going to be... LSWF's nightmare of their own. Casey Valentine going to make her way to the ring. Casey Valentine, a woman who could make Zenda blush by just looking at him.
So Casey Valentine making her way down to the ring. Without any further ado, the Xander Romania Nanny Memorial Battle Royal is about to go down. The winner of this matchup getting a shot at the women's title when they so desire. Well, this matchup starting off with many hard hits. That was Yori taking down Shy Breeze. The Goth Queen taking it to Jaden, flattening her. Amanda Lawrence staying on top there as Cammy Zantanega looking to take her out. That's right, Cammy trying to redeem herself after being the first woman eliminated from the Royal Rumble earlier this year. As down goes Amanda Lawrence. One third of the beautiful and badass will be seeing the women's champion. Actually, up next, I'll get, I'll get to be on commentary for that matchup. We have to think the goal for the beautiful and the badass, as they call themselves, will be for an Amanda Lawrence victory tonight, leading to a gorgeous Gloria victory as well, so they can keep that championship for as long as they so desire. The Nanny and Bo Memorial Battle Royal victory is good until they're used, essentially, as Cami Zanzanega now flattening the street queen. Well, now Chai Breeze knocking back Violet Hawkins and Chai Breeze. Oh, kicks her in the head. You have to wonder who that first one is going to be in the Bowman Memorial Battle Royal was Brandon. And ultimately, you know, I mean, I would know I eliminated him. And then, you know, I ended up getting super kicked in the jaw and eliminated, but whatever. So what, what, what was your point about first eliminations? I was just going to say the first elimination is important because it means that we uh, we know who the first person not to be is going to be. Well, it does kind of shift the landscape of the matchups when the first person is eliminated, so we have to find out. We're about to find out who the first woman eliminated in this matchup is going to be. Any moment now, someone's feet are going to hit that floor, and they are going to be out of this matchup as Casey Valentine and the Goth Queen in the middle of the ring. Goth Queen taking her down. Casey Valentine definitely going to feel that one. As now Chai Breeze get, trying to get rid of Cammy Zanzanegger. Oh, flattens her instead. Decides not to throw Cammy out just yet. If she'd gone for that clothesline, she could have. Oh, and it's going to be Jaden as the first one eliminated. There went a hot break for the hot breaker. Oh, what kick there from the Goth Queen. Goth Queen taking down Violet Hawkins. Cammy Zanzanega sent in the corner by Casey Valentine. That's not where you want to be if you're Cammy, but fortunately, Goth Queen and Violet Hawkins kind of blocking her in the corner for a moment here. As now Casey Valentine's turned her attention to Amanda Lawrence. Amanda Lawrence taken down. And now look at this. Casey Valentine with a slam takes down the Goth Queen. Cammy Zanzanegger now knocking down Shy Breeze. You would think there would be some kind of alliance there given who Cammy's father is and the affiliation between Chai Breeze and the and the NRW team. Yeah, you'd think so, but it seems there are no alliances tonight. I mean, this is in 2K23, so there's no alliances working together in battle royals like this. Twist of fate from Casey Valentine. The twist of fate could twist her way to a victory. As Cammy Zanzanega now puts Chai Breeze in the corner and fights back. Amanda Lawrence now looking around, trying to pick a fight with someone. Picks Amanda, picks Alice Yuri and knocks her down. Oh, wait a minute. Joy Breeze taking down Cammy. Who's going to be the next one eliminated is the question on everyone's minds right now. As Casey Valentine has, has Cammy Zanzanega. Violet Hawkins tries to take out the Goth Queen who stays in it. Amanda Lawrence now getting Alice Yuri back up to her feet. Yuri is knocked down with a right hook. Chai Breeze standing on top of Cami Zanzanega here. Chai Breeze kicking her in the head and knocking her back. Alice Yuri with a knee strike taking down Amanda Lawrence. Surprisingly, we only had one elimination so far tonight. You gotta feel like that second elimination is coming any moment now. I think it very well might in just a moment here. Casey Valentine has knocked Cammy Zanzanega into the ropes. Oh, and Casey Valentine eliminates the exterminator. The exterminator of 2063 has been eliminated. Down goes Cammy Zanzanega, the second woman gone. We'll be seeing her father in a little bit tonight in that ladder matchup. I'll be gone by then. 
TKO from Amanda Lawrence to the Goth Queen. This matchup could come to a close any moment now as up on the shoulders is Amanda Lawrence, Casey Valentine going to look for a second elimination of the night here. Well, Amanda Lawrence trying to hang on though, fights out of the fireman's carry. Violet Hawkins now grabs on the golf queen, throws her into the ropes. Ellis Yuri now telling Chai Breeze to get up, steps on her arm though. Oh, Goth Queen taken down by Violet Hawkins. Amanda Lawrence rolls into the bottom rope as Alice Yuri punched to the back of the head of Chai Breeze. And Casey Valentine thrown into the Goth Queen by Violet Hawkins. The two biggest women in the match going at it. As now Alice Yuri trying to knock back Chai Breeze with right hooks here. Chai Breeze knocked back towards the ropes. Roundhouse kick from Alice Yuri. Roundhouse kick. Uppercut there from Casey Valentine to Amanda Lawrence, knocking her down. This matchup's going to go any woman's way at this point. We've only had two eliminations so far. Could be on the verge of a third. It would seem so as Casey Valentine looks for a second elimination. There goes Amanda Lawrence. Could be the shade of things to come for the Blondes as down goes Alice Yuri as well. Goth Queen sent in the corner by Violet Hawkins, and Violet Hawkins now puts her up on the top rope. Chai Breeze. Oh, there goes Alice Yuri. And oh, just like that, Violet Hawkins eliminates the Goth Queen. That's going to do it for the Goth Queen tonight. Casey Valentine is in trouble here, kicking the ribs. Chai Breeze pops up into Dice Spread. Chai Breeze taking it down there. Now Chai Breeze is caught and pulled in. Violet Hawkins with Chai Breeze. Throws her into the bottom ropes. Knocking her against the turnbuckle while she's at it. And Violet Hawkins puts Casey Valentine in the corner now. And Violet Hawkins. Good look to end it here. Violet Hawkins taking it down in the corner. Chai Breeze now posing in the corner. That's a bad move for Chai Breeze. Don't get too cocky. It's caught now by Casey Valentine and Kate, or, Matt, or Violet Hawkins now. Bending back the arm. Stomps down Chai Breeze. Oh, and a right hook knocks her down as well. Violet Hawkins is on top at the moment here. And Violet Hawkins now drags her into the ropes. Violet Hawkins knocked back by Chai Breeze. Chai Breeze now hits the ropes and... Code Breaker taking down Violet Hawkins. And now Casey Valentine throws her across the ring, taking her down. Casey Valentine has taken down Shy Breeze. This matchup could come to a close at any moment here. There's an uppercut taking it down here as Shy Breeze knocked back now. Casey Valentine entering back with a forearm strike. Valentine now with Shy Breeze. Pops her up and... No! Shy Breeze grabs onto her in a German suplex. Taking down Casey Valentine. Runs in at Violet Hawkins. Drop kicks her. Violet Hawkins goes down in the heat. There's a kick to the head. Chai Breeze now is down. We could be on the verge of the final, the second to last elimination of the matchup. Who's it going to be though? It's Casey Valentine knocks back Chai Breeze. And now Violet Hawkins grabs on the Chai Breeze. Throws her in the corner. Casey Valentine looking for another elimination. Valentine has had many eliminations thus far and is going to score another. We are down to two. We're down to two powerful women in this matchup and only one of them can walk out of Xander Mania with their hand held high in this matchup. As Casey Valentine taking her down. Pulling back on the arm now of Violet Hawkins. Has her down in some serious trouble here. Now... Casey Valentine getting up back up to her feet. Overcut. Casey Valentine is down up to the top rope. And there's a swan tongue bump from Casey Valentine. Getting up back up to her feet now. And Casey Valentine puts her in the ropes. And Valentine scoops her up. Casey Valentine with the victory. Casey Valentine with the victory in the Nanny Memorial Battle Royal. And that woman now has a shot at the LSWF Women's World Title at any time of her choosing. At a later date, of course, at a specified date. Again, not like Money in the Bank. 
they got to be like, all right, I want to fight for the title next week. They've got to give at least a little bit of heads up. Indeed, Casey Valentine picking up the victory. But now let's find out which woman might be able to call herself champion when Casey Valentine inevitably decides to invoke that right to fight for the LSWF Women's World Championship. Absolutely, let's move on to our, to our women's world title matchup right here, right now, my final match of the night is to be commentated for. So ladies and gentlemen, the LSWF Women's World title is gonna be up for grabs up next here at Xander Mania. That is correct as here comes the Royal Rumble winner to the ring, gorgeous Gloria making her way to the ring. The leader of the beautiful and the badass, the badass blondes, what we clearly can't lock in one name for them because we flip back and forth all the time. And so gorgeous Gloria making her way to the ring. The Royal Rumble winner, although it's not really been the greatest time for her since winning the Royal Rumble, has it? No, indeed it has not been. She she came in, she had a match with Poseidon Sky, lost there. And then a rematch was made for a few weeks later after her team, the beautiful and badass, lost to show stopping heartbreak. A rematch was set between Sky and Gloria, where if Sky won, then she would be added or well, if Sky won, she would be added to this matchup tonight. She would ultimately walk out with the victory and end up joining this matchup and then gorgeous gloria and the badass blondes couldn't even get the victory in a two on three handicap match against sky and bell just last week on the go home show yo so it's not been the greatest showing for gorgeous gloria maybe tonight she'll shock the world though and become the lswf women's world champion time will tell on that front only one of these women can be the LSWF Women's World Champion. So we are going to find out momentarily which of them it will be, and it will be the best woman as the last woman standing, as it is going to be a triple threat elimination matchup tonight. That is right, a triple threat elimination. So gorgeous Gloria has made her way to the ring. Here comes Poseidon Sky. Poseidon Sky has been showing off. Lately has been a great competitor as of late. This is a big opportunity for her here tonight at LSWF Xander Mania. So Poseidon Sky makes her way down to the ring. That is right, Poseidon Sky, a very great competitor, a woman that I have a tremendous amount of respect, respect for. And now, here comes the champ. That is right, the LSWF Women's World Champion, Elizabeth Bell, going to make her way to the ring. And it looks like she's gone rogue tonight. That is right, we're in Hollywood, the land of movies, and it seems that with the X-Men not far away, Elizabeth Bell has taken the appearance of Rogue from the X-Men. I've been told that is her favorite character. So Elizabeth Bell making her way down to the ring. The showstopper has been an incredible women's champion. She won the title all the way back at Christmas Chaos. She is currently the longest reigning champion in LSWF. She's not lost that championship since since Christmas Chaos when she won it. She's the first champion. She's the only champion. And she's, out of all the championships, been the one to hold their title the longest. Elizabeth Bell makes her way to the ring. This matchup is about to go down. Referee holding the title high. Gorgeous Gloria, Poseidon Sky, and the showstopper Elizabeth Bell. Megan, all ready for action. Here we go. Oh! 
Oh! Elizabeth Bell taking down Poseidon Sky. Because now Elizabeth Bell going into Gorgeous Gloria, knocks her into the corner. Gorgeous Gloria now knocked in the corner. It's Poseidon Sky with the champion. Near the ribs and kick to the head. If I were Poseidon Sky, I would do everything in my power to get Elizabeth Bell out of here as quickly as possible. Yeah, I mean, I've got to agree with you. She's been a, she's been a very dominant competitor since showing up. As now Gorgeous Gloria lifting up Poseidon Sky. Power bombs her into a cover. Poseidon Sky could be the first one gone too. No. Poseidon Sky staying in there. Elizabeth Bell knocked back with a right hook. Now Gorgeous Gloria kicks her in the ribs and Gloria pulls her in and power bombs her. Gorgeous Gloria takes it down. And now Poseidon Sky with a right hook knocks back Elizabeth Bell. Cover on the show stop with Poseidon Sky for the one. No kick out from Elizabeth. Elizabeth Bell managing to kick out. Gorgeous Gloria knocking back Poseidon Sky. Kicks her in the ribs now, and Poseidon Sky goes up and comes crashing down with a gorgeous power bomb from Gloria. But now Elizabeth Bell gets caught, and gorgeous Gloria grabs onto her by the back of the head, taking her towards the ropes, throws her into the corner. And now gorgeous Gloria grabs onto Poseidon Sky, and Gloria with Poseidon Sky up over her head and pressing her up overhead here. Has her down now, and now Elizabeth Bell throws her into the corner. Gorgeous Gloria caught up in the corner. In some serious trouble here. And oh! Slams her head first into the turnbuckle. And now, Gorgeous Gloria grabs onto Elizabeth Bell, shoves her away. No, Elizabeth Bell firing back here. And now Elizabeth Bell knocking her back here into the corner. Elizabeth Bell staying on top at the moment. Elizabeth Bell knocking her down. Knocks her down in the corner once again. Elizabeth Bell putting a knee into the face of Poseidon Sky. Poseidon Sky going down. Poseidon Sky in some serious trouble now as Gorgeous Gloria put up on the top rope. The women's champion, oh, runs into a kick from, from Gorgeous Gloria who kicks her in the ribs and Gorgeous Gloria pops her up, suplexes her down, she goes down. Gorgeous Gloria now has it down, gets knocked back by Poseidon Sky, Poseidon Sky firing away, meeting the ribs and Poseidon Sky kicking the back of the head, knocks it down. Going to pain now is Gorgeous Gloria, Poseidon Sky. Trying to get her out of here early like she did last time. Sends her into the corner. And now Poseidon Sky gets knocked back by an elbow. We're just Gloria now knocking her back. Gloria scoops up Poseidon Sky and... Power Slam takes her down. Gorgeous Gloria caught with the super kick from the champion for the one, two, three, no! Nearly got her there, a kick out though, from Gorgeous Gloria. Kick out there from the Royal Rumble winner, Elizabeth Bell goes up. Long way to go for the champion, will she be able to make the jump is the question. It's gone now, does Gorgeous Gloria now, thrown over the top rope, out to the floor, Gorgeous Gloria is down, beauty of the beast to Poseidon Sky. Elizabeth Bell into a quick cover here for the one, for the two, no! Near fall there for Poseidon Sky who manages to kick out. Elizabeth Bell grabs onto her now and the champion scoops her up. Backbreaker takes her down. And now Poseidon Sky is down, gorgeous Gloria has the leg taken out from under her by Elizabeth Bell. Taking her down now, and Elizabeth Bell being deadlifted by Gorgeous Gloria, who's got her up overhead, carries her around the ring, and Gorgeous Gloria dropping her into the mat. Down goes the showstopper. And now Poseidon Sky flips her over, 
knee off the jaw of gorgeous Gloria. Gloria is suddenly going to feel the effects of that one. And now Poseidon Sky has got her down. Poseidon Sky grabs onto the champion, bending back the arm, and Poseidon Sky with the arm bent back stops the arm of the showstopper Elizabeth Bell. Elizabeth Bell going down in the heat there as now. Poseidon Sky trying to fire back here. Poseidon Sky throws her into the corner. Elizabeth Bell in some serious trouble. Elizabeth Bell firing back now, and Elizabeth Bell breaks the eyes. Right hook attempt counter. And now Elizabeth Bell gets caught. Poseidon Sky puts her in the corner, puts her in the ropes, turns her attention around to Gorgeous Gloria. Gloria gets her with a kick in the ribs, and Gorgeous Gloria pops her up, drops her into the mat. Down goes Poseidon Sky. The showstopper Elizabeth Bell now caught. Spine Buster connects. Oh, the champion could be gone for one, two, no! Elizabeth Bell managing to stay in the mix at the moment here. Momentarily remaining alive in this matchup. Right hook, knocking that gorgeous Gloria. Gloria in some serious trouble. And now, puts her in the ropes, does Elizabeth Bell choking gorgeous Gloria in the ropes here. In some serious trouble. Gorgeous Gloria goes down, hung up in the middle rope now, try, trying to catch her breath. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Bell with, with a kick. Runs in now, Poseidon the Sky catching her. Poseidon the Sky gets caught. No, she's firing back, knocking back the women's champion now. Poseidon the Sky knocking her back, and Sky runs at her with a right hook. Poseidon the Sky grabs onto Elizabeth Bell, and Poseidon the Sky has Elizabeth Bell in some serious trouble here. Taking her towards the ropes, counting Elizabeth Bell, knocking her back. Elizabeth Bell trying to stay in the mix now. Poseidon Sky gets cut. A oh, gorgeous Gloria with the glorious slam taking her down and looking to end it. Gorgeous Gloria. What's going to happen here? Spear! A spear to Poseidon Sky. Cover. One, two, three. Poseidon Sky eliminated Gorgeous Gloria. Kick to the ribs of the champion. Oh, wait a minute. The Gorgeous Neckbreaker. That could do it. Cover on the champion. One, two, no. Elizabeth Bell showing her resilience there. Staying in it once again. Poseidon Sky, or Gorgeous Gloria now picking her back up to her feet. And Gorgeous Gloria knocked back. Elizabeth Bell grabs onto her now. Grabs her by the throat, and Elizabeth Bell takes her down. Gorgeous Gloria going down in a heat. Let's pick back up. Right hook connects. There's a shot. Hits her in the ribs. And now Elizabeth Bell with a shot. And pulls back on the leg. Gorgeous Gloria staggers. Elizabeth Bell, she thinking here, grabs onto her right hook connects. That right hook could have ended in Elizabeth Bell to the top. The champion with an elbow. Flies from the heavens like Macho Man Randy Savage. A favorite of the twin brothers. And now Elizabeth Bell, beauty of the beast. Down goes Gloria for the one, two, three. The showstopper wins. Showstopper Elizabeth Bell retaining the LSWF Women's World title tonight. A big victory there for the showstopper Elizabeth Bell managing to defy the odds and keep the LSWF Women's World title on the grandest stage of them all. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for allowing me to be on commentary tonight for Xander Mania for the first time ever. It was an absolute pleasure to be here. I'm heading out, the doctor is heading in. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, is up next. We are going to move on to the finals of the LSWF inaugural Trios Championship Tournament. A big victory there for showstopper Elizabeth Bell. Ah, oh, hello, mate. Good to see you. Oh, uh, yes, Time Lord. Welcome back from your victory earlier in the night. Oh yes, thank you very much. Great to be back. We are here now 
for the trios championship matchup here at Xenomania. As here comes Joe Grimsley leading the charge for Chaos tonight. Archangel in silence, see this side of him tonight. Chaos has arrived. Grimsley leading the charge down to the ring here tonight as Chaos, who have gone through quite the run in the tournament to get here tonight, making their way down to the ring. Grimsley, Archangel, and Chaos have the opportunity to bring gold back into, into Chaos tonight. Grimsley and Silence, former tag team champions, and now tonight looking to bring the trio's titles in. Triton, Triton Apprentice, the trio's champion, defending his gold later tonight in the ladder match. In fact, I believe that match will be up next. It is indeed Kremsley and Silence for tag team champions, but we defeated them. The circus defeated them to become champions for the second time earlier this year at the Royal Rumble. But now here comes the gang to the ring. Martin King, Ace Watson, and Nelson Kent going to make their way to the ring. That is right, and the gang already have gold in their ranks as of earlier tonight, where Ethan Ace would successfully beat DJ Danger to keep or to regain the United States Championship. So now, the gang making their way down to the ring. So the gang making their way down to the ring. The gang have got a tall task ahead of them though. You're absolutely right, they do. The gang started this whole thing out with a victory over your team, the Circus. It was a bit of a rough start for them as well because the gang, when they started out, there was the whole situation of the gang didn't know who they would be teaming up with because there were only four of them at this point. Nelson Kent and Martin King didn't know who was going to be working alongside of them. And then finally Ace Watson would show up and that would that would lead to the gang reaching full power once again. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think we're seeing the best version of the gang that we have ever. I certainly agree. They finally found the winning combination with Ace Watson joining the ranks. The five men they have now have really pulled the thing all together for the gang. So the gang has made their way to the ring. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to crown the first ever LSWF Trios Champions. It's going to be Archangel and Ace Watson starting us off with any further ado. Here we go. Ace Watson starting off, getting knocked down by shots from Archangel tonight. Archangel's down. Well, has Ace Watson down, picking him back up to his feet. Watson fires back, and now Ace Watson in the ribs from Archangel, and Archangel grabs onto him. Spine Buster connects. The Spine Buster taking him down now. Tag is made to silence. Well, the monstrous silence making his way to the ring now, and silence kicks up the leg. Silence now taking down Ace Watson. Kicks him in the ribs, knocking him down. Silence with another kick, keeps him down now. Silence getting him back up to his feet here. And now Arca Silence grabs onto Ace, picks him up, and Watson. Oh, flipping out of it now. It's Watson firing away at him now. Ace Watson. He's the smallest man in the matchup, but he's really showing his fight with a backflip German suplex to Silence taking him down. And now there's a kick to the head, Ace. Watson takes him down with a snap mare and taking him down with a kick. Tag is made to Nelson Kent. First tag of the matchup on the side of the gang. As now it, Nelson Kent steps into the ring here. Nelson Kent has him down. Nelson Kent with a kick. And down to Nelson. And back up there's a kick knocks down silence. Nelson Kent now. Oh, what a splash! Taking him down. Nelson Kent now. 
Many have called him the weak link of the gang. He looks to prove those naysayers wrong tonight. And Nelson Kent's got him down. And Nelson Kent turning him over into a cover. Nelson Kent. Cover for the one. No kick out. And now Nelson Kent getting him back up to his feet. And Nelson Kent grabs on the grabs on the silence, taking him back towards the corner of the gang. Slams him head first into the turnbuckle. And now Nelson Kent knocking him back. Nelson Kent. It's caught. Silence. Picks him up, and Nelson Kent is up. Silence. No, Nelson Kent taking him down. Nelson Kent staying on top now. Silence reeling and tags in Joe Grimsley. He stays back in now, and Silence falls to the outside. Nelson Kent throws Grimsley over the top rope, trying to make up for the fact that Nelson Kent actually got pinned by Joe Grimsley last week. Now Nelson Kent firing all his shots too to Joe Crimsley as I'm hung up over the top rope. And down goes Joe Crimsley. Joe Crimsley is down. Nelson Kent grabs onto him and takes him down with a side Russian leg sweep, knocking him down. Silence back up to his feet now. Nelson Kent turns his attention to silence. Oh, launches him in the steps now. Nelson Kent definitely doing everything in his power to shed that weak link label he's been given. Takes down Kremsley with a DDT on the outside. And now Joe Kremsley in some serious trouble. Nelson Kent going around ringside here. Joe Kremsley rolls back into the ring now. Nelson Kent trying to figure out what he's going to do here. Nelson Kent. Rolls back in as well. Joe Kremsley grabs onto him, pulls him in. DDT connects. Joe Kremsley might be turning things around here for a victory. For the one, two, no. Joe Kremsley tried but couldn't keep him down. And now Joe Kremsley with a suplex to Nelson Kent who goes down. And now Nelson Kent is down. Crimsley staying on top of him. Crimsley. Crimsley has him down. Tag is made to Archangel. And now Archangel grabbing on to Nelson Kent. I'm going to say it now, Nelson. There's no shame in it. Tag out if you've got to, man. Don't try and do it all yourself. You're putting up a hell of a fight right now, but don't risk. Don't risk losing this matchup because you don't want to be the reason the gang doesn't become trios champions just because you're trying too hard to, pr to prove yourself. As Nelson Kent. Knee strike knocking back Archangel. Causes the monster to stagger now. And Nelson Kent with Archangel. Takes him down with an STO. Archangel goes down. Nelson Kent turns him over for the cover, for the one, for the two. No. Ace Watson was ready, but now Ace Watson has to get out of the ring, avoid being counted in. Nelson Kent grabs onto Archangel. Nelson Kent to an E-bar now. Not the position the monstrous Archangel wants to be in in a match like this. There's a kick knocking him back. And Archangel with an elbow drop taking him down. Archangel now getting Nelson Kent back up to his feet. Right hook connects, staggering him. And now Archangel snap mad and Nelson Kent has him down. Archangel, there's a drop kick to the head. And he's got to try and get to one of his teammates. He's put up a hell of a fight, but he's in some serious trouble right now. Nelson Kent is down. Nelson Kent, look out. Joe Kremsley back in the mix now. And Kremsley looking to finish the job here, getting Nelson Kent back to his feet. Turns him around, dropping him. That's how they beat in on W a few weeks ago. Cover for the one, two, no. A kick out there from Nelson Kent, staying alive for now. As 
now Nelson can't. No! Counters into a Northern Light suplex. Taking him down now is Nelson Kent. Nelson Kent into a cover on Joe Prinsley for the one, two, no. Joe Prinsley managing to stay alive in this matchup. Prinsley still in it. Nelson Kent deadlifts him. Huge forearm strike. Tag is made. Martin King enters the mix now. Martin King. Well, this is his first time in the match, and for some reason he allowed Prinsley to make the tag. Nelson Kent even confused as Archangel grabs onto him, scooping up overhead. No! Oh, hang on a minute. Martin King It's knocked back by an elbow strike from Archangel now, and Archangel scoops him up. Sidewalk slam! Martin King could have just ended the match just to eat the pin. As now Archangel looking to end it. Martin King staggering back up to his feet. Oh, wait a minute. Kicks him in the ribs now. Martin King lifts him up. Martin King bow down. Martin King takes him down for the one, two, three. The gang have become the first LSWF trios champions. A huge victory there for the gang. The gang are your new LSWF Trios Champions. A huge victory there for the gang doing the unthinkable tonight. Nelson Kent, Martin King, Ace Watson, your new LSWF Trios World Champions. The gang walks out tonight with four championships around their waist. Absolutely they do. That is a huge, huge victory there for the gang tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the internet championship ladder match is going to come up next. Plenty more where that came from. The internet championship is about to be on the line. Right here, right now. A huge eight-man matchup coming up right now. Here we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a very highly anticipated matchup of the night. It's time for things to get a little wild. Time for things to get a little extreme. It's time for the Internet Championship ladder match. Indeed it is, as here comes Ray Wood to the ring. That is right, Ray Wood, second in command of the Eyes 11 universe, making his way to the ring. Ray Wood looking to storm his way to his first championship victory at the LSWF tonight. A huge eight-man ladder match is about to go down for the gold tonight. Only one man can walk out tonight with gold around his waist, over his shoulder, wherever he chooses to hold it. The internet championship is going to be on the line. Ray has won it since LSWF started. Indeed he has. Ray Wood makes his way down to the ring. Ray Wood set for a big matchup here tonight. Ray's been in Xenomania many times in the past, but Ray Wood has never won a championship match at Xenomania. Indeed he has not. He's been in Xenomania now for three times out of the seven Xenomanias there have been, and he has never had a championship victory. He was in the, he was in the main event of Xenomania 2 back in 2017. But out next, here comes Blaze Wave to the ring. You talk about a dark horse pick, Blaze Wave is certainly that. Blaze Wave has been quite the impressive performer in the LSWF, but he is yet to win a championship in LSWF. He's fought for the internet title a handful of times in the past. He was also in the LSWF United States Championship Tournament when that went down a few months ago. But now tonight, he fights in this big ladder match. Indeed he does, Blaze Wave makes his way down to the ring. Blaze Wave ready for some singles action here tonight. This is a big matchup for Blaze Wave at his first Xenomania. So Blaze Wave making his way down to the ring. Blaze Wave is here. Blaze Wave, the second man to enter this ladder match. 
That is right. The maze way. The main is way to the ring. Maze wave now. Out comes the cyborg of the circus. That is right, the hypnotic cyborg, the first man representing the circus tonight, doing my bidding, doing justice for the team tonight, since I will not be in the matchups tonight. Ended up not being in the matchup due to, well, I just, I, you know, I didn't make it in the trios tournament, and so at that point, there was nowhere else left for me on the show. That's right, so, Tech Nizzle, the Hypnotic Cyborg, makes his way to the ring. So Tech Nizzle, the third man to make his way to the ring tonight. Who else is going to be in the matchup? Well, we already know all eight men that are in the matchup, but who's going to come out next? Here comes none other than... The warrior, the RS warrior, the hunter making his way to the ring. Indeed, the hunter, RS warrior, going to make his way to the ring. He's been a dominant competitor ever since his arrival to the LSWF as he makes his way down to the ring. RS warrior marching down with a very cocky grin on his face. Xandamania could be the night he proves what he is made of, shows the world just what he is capable of. That is right, the RS Warrior making his way down to the ring tonight. Big matchup for him tonight as he challenges for the Internet Championship. His first title match in LSWF. He's currently a pretty good run so far of things. He knocked off Matthew Danger to enter this matchup in his very first match. He became number one contender, or became a man in this ladder match, excuse me. Not number one contender, one of the men challenging tonight, though, nonetheless. Indeed, is now... RS Warrior has made his way down to the ring. The Hunter has arrived. RS Warrior enters the ring. And now the RS Warrior awaiting his other four opponents. Absolutely. So the RS Warrior has made his way to the ring. Out next, though. Here comes Connell. The Exterminator going to make his way to the ring. Looking to win his first singles title in LSWF that is not... The retired ARW World Title. Absolutely, Connell going to make his way to the ring. The Exterminator is here. Connell Zanzanega makes his way to the ring. The Exterminator has made his way to the ring. Connell rides his motorcycle out to the ramp. Connell making his way down to the ring. Connell ready for some ready for some singles action tonight in this ladder match. Connell has actually never been in a ladder match before. Absolutely, Connell. This is a big matchup for him. The Exterminator has got a lot riding on this one. This is his shot. This is his chance to win gold on his own. He's a former tag team champion alongside Xander, but tonight. He looks to become singles champion, break out and do it on his own. That is right, Connell making his way to the ring. So, Connell, the next man to enter the matchup. The Exterminator has made his way to the ring. Connell's made his way to the ring. Out next, here comes the monstrous Roy Harper to the ring, the main man. Roy Harper has been a dominant force in LSWF since his arrival. He got a big win in a triple threat matchup recently, and now tonight he makes his way down to the ring to try and become the LSWF Internet Champion. A big matchup for the main man tonight. So Roy Harper making his way down to the ring. The 
main man is here. Roy Harper has made his way to the ring. Roy Harper makes his way down to the ring. The main man ready for action. Yes, indeed. Roy Harper's made his way to the ring. Roy Harper ready for action. Out next, the unlikely addition to this matchup, the number one jobber of LSWF, J.J. Gyllenhaal, going to make his way to the ring. That is right, J.J. Gyllenhaal going to make his way to the ring now. He got his first victory in LSWF recently, and he did so by pinning the LSWF world champion, Xander. Yes, indeed, J.J. Gyllenhaal doing the unthinkable by pinning Xander's shoulders to the mat just a few weeks ago. Granted, it was with the help of Hanzo, but nonetheless, he did get the victory. Absolutely. I will say, though, Quizmaster, I'm very interested to see how you're going to react to the next man to make his way to the ring. Yes, I am aware of who is going to be making his way to the ring next time, Lord. And I assure you, he's probably going to take his sweet time and make us all wait like we have all day. Alright, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that because he's afraid he's going to lose in this eight-man ladder match that he was throwing a little hissy fit about being in, I'm almost surprised he showed up to actually do business tonight when he found out he was going to be defending against seven other people. The leader of chaos, the man who thinks he can destroy the circus, Triton Apran is going to make his way to the ring now. Triton has had help being the internet champion. He's not had a single defense on his own without Archangel or Xander or someone else getting involved in the matchup. And I'm saying he's a coward. Oh, well, all right then, you are. No, I'm not done. You're going to let me finish, all right? Trying to practice as a coward. He's, he's pathetic. He's weak. He's a man that, yes, I'll admit, has defeated me in singles action in the past. He did so of his own merit. You know what's good for him? He's beaten me. You know what a lot of people have? But I refuse to stand here and claim that he's a good internet champion by any stretch of the imagination. Because Trident Apprentice has been a coward. Nothing more than a coward since arriving at LSW. He's had to have help from chaos at every turn, and I find him pathetic. Alright, well. And he's also trying to tear my family apart, so of course I find issues with that. Well. All right then, Triton Apprentice now making his way to the ring. The internet champion is in the building. Triton Apprentice ready to defend his internet championship tonight against seven other men here at Xandamania. A big, a big matchup nonetheless despite who's involved. Triton Apprentice makes his way to the ring. I'm hopeful that Technism will be able to bring gold home to the circus like we've been waiting for for some time. Well, time will tell on that front, mate, as Triton Apprentice makes his way to the ring. Any further ado, here we go. This ladder man is going to be nothing more than chaotic. Ray going at Carnal here. Two channel hosts going at it. Now Ray grabs onto him. DDT. Oh, and Triton. Oh, it's even Tech thrown into the ring. Roy Harper following from the outside. It's really going to be a big game of a big game of tug of war tonight for that championship. Who's going to be able to walk out by getting to that ladder to the to the top of that ladder first? It's Roy Harper now going to going to Tech Nizzle, the RS Warrior, looking like he might be the first man to bring a ladder into the mix. Triton Francis goes to the outside now, and Triton goes back into the ring. JJ Gyllenhaal laid out in the center of the ring. Who's going to bring the first ladder into the mix? It's going to come eventually. Triton Apprentice goes outside of the ring and Triton to the top rope. Triton, of course, he would pick on the man with the nickname number one jobber, wouldn't he? A coward. Well, J.J. Gyllenhaal tried to bring a ladder in. Triton kicked him. Oh, trying to knock back Ray now. Ray's in trouble here. As now, Triton Apprentice. Oh, and then Connold. DDT to Ray. Oh, and Roy Harper taking down Tech Nizzle. JJ with a leg drop to the to Triton Apprentice. JJ Gyllenhaal's talked about training. He says after tonight, 
if he wins the Internet Championship, he will no longer be referred to as the number one Java. He will only be referred to as the King of the Mountain. As Connell slides a ladder into the ring, and Connell and Triton, here we go. Oh, Triton taking out the arm, and Ray turns his attention to Triton, who hits him with an uppercut. Trying to print has been talking a lot of smack about the competitors tonight, Connell especially, and Connell tells him to talk shit, get hit. Oh, I know Connell and I have never truly seen eye to eye, but tonight I truly hope he rips Triton to shreds. As Connell has got a hold of him, and Connell Zanzanega with Triton Apprentice. Jackhammer! Connell laying out the internet champion with a jackhammer there. Oh, and he takes out Blazeway. And now Ray Wood grabs onto him. Ray flattening Connell with an STO. Connell goes down now, and Connell. Outside now, now the RS Warrior back into the ring. Everyone out of the ring now. Who's going to bring a ladder in? No one's tried to climb the ladder yet this matchup. No one has gone for the gold yet. As now Blaze Wave has got a ladder in hand, but there's a, la a ladder blocking his way as he's trying to get back into the ring. Tech Nizzle now. No, knocked back by Roy Harper. And now, Arnold looking into the ring here, Connell. Oh, looking to introduce another ladder into the mix here. Connell slides a ladder into the ring. Connell, the first man to pull in. Ray with an edge matic on the outside. Ray taking down the R or taking down Triton Apprentice as the RS Warrior putting another ladder into the ring. Ray, the first man to try and set a ladder up, but RS Warrior grabs onto him. And the Warrior dropping him on a ladder. Connell entering the mix now. Connell turns Ray over with a kick, and Connell with Ray. Steiner, recliner is in. Oh, an RS Warrior kicking Connell in the face. Inadvertently saving Ray with that one as well. Now Ray knocking back Connell. Trying to plan this with the final destination. RS Warrior, just about everybody back in the ring at the moment. Roy Hoppe takes out Ray. RS Warrior dropping Tech Nizzle. Now JJ going after Connell here. No love lost between them tonight. He throws him into Triton. Tech thrown out of the ring now. Blaze wave. Oh, caught by Connell. This matchup is an absolute mosh pit at the moment. Out of the ring goes Blaze wave. As Roy Harper following him out. This matchup is pure chaos at the moment. As now RS Warrior looking for future shock to JJ Gyllenhaal. Who's going to be the first man to go up a ladder in this matchup? Well, we could find out any moment. As well now. The RS Warrior with Ted Nizzle trying to brand his final destination on a ladder to JJ Gyllenhaal. Someone's got to go up a ladder any minute now. It's Ted Nizzle looking to end the RS Warrior, but Triton gets in his way. And Triton with a tilt a world backbreaker. Tech Nizzle picking him back up to his feet. Ray slams down Connell. Oh yes, get him Tech! Tech Nizzle with a tombstone to Triton Apprentice. And RS Warrior now turns around on Tech Nizzle. RS Warrior grabs onto him. Suplex connects, taking him down. Picks him down now and now. RS Warrior going up the ropes. RS Warrior. Oh, he's up on the top of the ladder. JJ Gyllenhaal though, and Gyllenhaal is going to be able to do it. Gyllenhaal trying to push the ladder over with RS Warrior on it. The ladder, oh, doesn't fall, but RS Warrior does. Triton Apprentice now goes around the ladder, and Triton up at the top of the ladder with a right hook from Gyllenhaal. And RS Warrior now pushes the ladder over, and the champion hanging. Electric chair from Gyllenhaal. Ray Wooden Connell now back into the ring as well. This matchup is becoming an absolute mosh pit. As now Ray trying to fire away here, grabs onto Connell. Ray Wood with Connell pulls him in, and Ray scoops him up on his shoulders. Ray Wood, no. Not that, Triton Apprentice. Oh, Tech dodges, dodges the RS Warrior now. Now 
Now RS Warrior grabs on the Tech Nizzle, pulls him in, scoops him up, and RS Warrior throws Tech Nizzle on the outside. Blaze Wave now hits Connell in the back with a ladder. Blaze Wave setting the ladder up. Connell goes down. Who's gonna get who's gonna climb the ladder next? Oh my god, Roy Harper's got a ladder bridge set up. Is someone gonna go through the ladder? Tech Nizzle. Oh! Slams the RS Warrior into the ladder. This matchup is becoming very violent as Ray tries to fly Hall to the top of the ladder to become king of the mountain. Into the title in hand. Oh, but Roy Harper pushes the ladder over. Roy Harper standing underneath him. Roy Harper. Oh, down goes Hall and Ray Wood. Future shock to Blaze Way. Triton Apprentice takes down Connell. Who is going to go through that ladder though? That ladder bridge is a very precarious situation to be in. Oh god, JJ Gyllenhaal could be in trouble here. Roy Harper. Has him up on his shoulders, turns it overhead. Forward Terry Press. Oh, Spine Buster takes him down. Roy Harper with an incredible Spine Buster there. Tech Nizzle atop the ladder. Bring it home for the Circus Tech. Tech Nizzle could do this. Now Roy Harper punching him repeatedly. Roy Harper trying to knock him off the ladder here. Roy Harper. Oh, he's got him. Pushes the ladder over. Tech Nizzle in trouble. And Roy Harper. Electric chair to Tech Nizzle. And, oh, what a drop kick from Triton. Oh, break out. JJ with the breaker to Roy Harper on a ladder. Roy Harper goes down. This matchup is getting violent here. JJ Gyllenhaal sets up another ladder here. JJ. JJ Gyllenhaal back up the ladder. Roy Harper right behind him. Oh my god. Oh my god. DDT the tech. JJ. Oh my god. Oh! What the hell? Holy shit! Where are you going? I'll be right back. I've got some business to tend to. Well, Quizmaster's just gotten up from the announce table. Quizmaster storming down to the ring as Troy Napranis and Troy Napranis and Tech brawling. Tech sends Troy back in the ring. Wait a minute, Quizmaster has gotten in the ring. Everyone's cleared out. Quizmaster right hook to Triton. And Tech and Quizmaster now teaming up on Triton. Oh, Tech flattens him. Excellent, Tech Nizzle. Bring it back for the circus. We are done with him trying to split us up. Quizmaster barking orders at Tech Nizzle to finish Triton Apprentice. Launches him in the corner. And Tech Nizzle, Quizmaster saying finish it. What? Wait a minute. Tank! Oh my god, throws Quizmaster at Triton! Triton's been trying to gaslight Tech into leaving the circus for a while, and I think it's worked! Double choke slam! Quizmaster's gone down, Tech Nizzle! Choke slams his boss! Wipes Quizmaster out! And Tech Nizzle, with Triton, wipes him out as well! Quizmaster is down Tech Technizzle, this is his moment. Claymore from the RS Warrior. RS Warrior wiping out Technizzle. Tech goes down. RS Warrior now feeling fired up. Roy Harper has recovered from going through that ladder. Picking, tr picking the RS Warrior back up to his feet. Pulls him in. Roy Harper gets him up and Roy Harper. Jackhammer connects. And the main man going to wipe out the hunter. Horace Warrior out of the ring. Oh, but wait a minute. Spear from Ray. Dishing out some revenge for his recent loss to Roy Harper. Ray Wood wipes him out. Ray's got him. But Blaze Wave with a shot with the ladder. Blaze Wave sets up a. Knocks Ray into the ropes. And Blaze Wave. Beautiful disaster knocks Ray into a ladder. Ray Woods down. Blaze Wave with the Blaze Kick. 
Blaze kick taking down Ray Wooden. Blaze wave. Wipes him out. Oh, and now Connell. Connell enters the mix. Connell the Blaze wave of buddies. But Connell, all's fair and loving world of war tonight. Spear. Spear the Blaze wave. Connell's about to do it. The Exterminator gonna make his Santa Mania moment and join the Hall of Champions tonight. Connell, ladder set up. And Connell's at the top of the ladder. But wait a minute, JJ. JJ Hall knocks the ladder up from the Connell. Gyllenhaal, go to sleep. JJ Hall sets the ladder up. Hall. Gyllenhaal pulling himself up the ladder. This is his moment. He went through that ladder with Roy Harper. Gyllenhaal at the top. Title in hand. JJ Gyllenhaal is king of the mountain. He's done it. JJ Gyllenhaal has done it. The number one jobber tonight gets rid of that title and gets two new ones. Not only is he now the LSWF Internet Champion, he is now King of the Mountain. JJ Gyllenhaal has done it. A huge victory there as we move on to six woman tag team action. Hey, you all right? I am... Um... I'd just rather not talk about it right now. Alright, alright. I will say my piece on the after party tomorrow. Um, I will do my best to remain professional on the commentary from here on out for the night. Alright, so we move into our second to last match of the night, folks. Six women tag team action coming up as here come the team of Danielle and Aaron Smith to the ring. A power couple, if you've ever seen one here tonight making their way to the ring. The Party Punks, as they've been dubbed, making their way to the ring. So, Aaron and Danielle Smith make their way down to the ring tonight. Big matchup for them here at Xanamania. They go head to head with the circus. Yes, indeed. I look forward to seeing what my ladies are capable of tonight. Are you sure you're in there all right? We can get Xana number three back out here. No, no wife. We to be here for all of Xanamania. I'll see it through to the end. Alright, well. Here comes the Nightingale to the ring. She's been on a war path of her own against the circus as of late. Nightingale. She's got the backup in the form of Aaron and Danielle Smith. She makes her way down to the ring tonight. Fear in the night is what they call her. She makes her way down to the ring. Nightingale, a very mysterious woman. One we haven't seen terribly much of in the LSWF, but the little bits we have seen of her, she has been incredibly impressive. Currently undefeated in singles competition, having defeated all three members of the Queen Circus, having beat Quiz Queen, Madam Atlas, and Starlight in that order over the last three weeks. Yes, indeed she has. So tonight, Nightingale. Looks for a big victory here on the Xander stage of the mall. Looks to get the win in Xanamania as she takes on the greatest trio in women's wrestling history. The most beautiful woman in LSWF. Nay, the whole world. The Quiz Queen leading the charge here. The Queen's Circus going to make their way to the ring. And you watch, they will be who does the circus proud. The three most loyal women a man could ask to have by his side the queen of my circus, the light of my life, the quiz queen, leading the charge tonight down to the ring. You're right. I'm fucked. Quiz queen leads the charge tonight. You will see just how good the circus truly is tonight. As quiz queen leading the charge to the ring. This is what the circus is all about, the camaraderie between these three, the power these three women have as they make their way to the ring. They are ready for this big six-woman tag team matchup tonight. The Queen Circus are going to decimate Nightingale and the Party Punks. You just watch. 
All right, I'll take your word for it. Quiz Queen leads the charge. So it's going to be Aaron Smith and Starlight starting it off. Without any further ado, here we go. As now, Starlight grabs onto Aaron Smith from behind. Aaron Smith goes down. And now Starlight taking it down, turned over now. Aaron Smith in trouble. Starlight into a cover right out of the gate. There's the one, there's the two. Kick out from, Star uh, from Aaron. Smith getting back up to her feet now. Starlight grabs onto her and Starlight sweeps the leg. Aaron Smith going down. Starlight bends back with the arm. A stomp to the arm from the star of the show. Starlight now with a tag made to Madam Atlas and watch what the world's strongest woman is capable of. Madam Atlas, oh, shoved back. Giving Aaron Smith a moment of hope here is what she's doing at the moment. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Aaron Smith planting her in the mat. That one's gotta hurt. Needless to say, Madam Atlas is going to do just fine as- Oh! She's taken down by Aaron Smith, but just you wait, Time Lord. She'll turn this around any moment now. Well, Aaron Smith firing away the face of Madam Atlas right now, taking it down with a smack to the face as well. Aaron Smith's got it down. And now she tags in the Nightingale. Nightingale enters the mix against Madam Atlas, a woman she beat recently. Beat while her hand was on the ropes. And don't just sit here and ignore that fact. Well, Madam Atlas with a knee into the back. Madam Atlas has got it down now, and Madam Atlas has down the Nightingale. Madam Atlas standing over. Nightingale, knee into the back. Nightingale bending back the torque of the back on Madam Atlas has a down. And now Madam Atlas is down. Tag is made. Quiz Queen's in. Prepare for a WrestleMania moment courtesy of the Quiz Queen tonight. Well, Nightingale knocking back the Quiz Queen right now. As Nightingale grabs onto her. Grabs Quiz Queen by the back of the head, taking her back towards the corner here. Nightingale has hold of her, taking her towards the corner. Oh no, watch this! The Quiz Queen going to fire back, showing what she is capable of. As now Quiz Queen has turned it around. Oh! Puts Nightingale in her own corner, right hook to Aaron Smith. Oh, but Danielle Smith, is this a move you really want to make, woman? Well, it seem it is. She knocks her back now. Danielle Smith firing her chops, knocking her back. Super kick! Taking down the Quiz Queen. Has it down, punching her in the back repeatedly in the face now. Quiz Queen is down. Don't worry, Quiz Queen will turn things around momentarily. As Danielle Smith. Double X handle. There's Quiz Queen with a right hook. Now Quiz Queen pulls her in and Quiz Queen DDT. And now Quiz Queen's got a hold of her. Quiz Queen dragging Danielle Smith towards the center of the ring. Quiz Queen now watch this to make a Zen to Mania moment. No. Kick out of there from Danielle Smith. And Danielle Smith grabs hold of her. Quiz Queen by the back, and Danielle Smith throws her into the corner. Quiz Queen, no, knocks her back with a right hook. The Quiz Queen showing what she is made of now, gets Danielle Smith up on her shoulders, rolls through with a Death Valley driver. Quiz Queen taking her down then. Quiz Queen now has her down. Tag is made, Starlight in the mix. The star of the sky going to make up for her failure from last week. And now Quiz Queen, uh, excuse me, Starlight. Oh, getting knocked back by Danielle Smith. Danielle Smith with all those strikes knocking her back. Right hook attempt as now Danielle Smith has got a hold of Starlight, but fear not, Starlight has learned as Danielle Smith. Good Lord! What a backflip there from Danielle Smith. Tag is made to Aaron. Aaron Smith entering the mix now. Now Aaron Smith enters the mix, chopped by Starlight. Starlight rolls through, 
grabs it by the head, swings around, Hurricane Rana taking her down. Starlight now trying to show why they call her the Star of the Sky. Oh, but Erin Smith throws her across the ring. Well, she took flight for sure, just not the way she wanted to, I think. Oh, come on now. It's not 2015 anymore, Aaron. And Erin Smith planting Starlight. Starlight goes down. I'll admit I'm getting a slight bit concerned at the moment here for the Queen's Circus. But Starlight quickly getting rid of my doubts. And Starlight now, watch this. Swings her around and Starlight wiping her out there. Starlight now into a cover on Aaron Smith. For the one. For the two. No. Kick out there from Aaron Smith. But do not worry. Starlight will soon turn things around here. Just you wait and see. Now Starlight's got it by the back of the head here. Starlight taking him towards the corner. Head first into the turnbuckle she goes. And now Starlight... Throws her off the ropes and Starlight now springboards into Hurricane Rana taking her down. Starlight has got her down here. Oh, and Starlight mocking her as well. Tag is made back to Danielle. Well, Danielle Smith entering the mix again. Danielle Smith kicked in the ribs. Starlight hits the ropes for Codebreaker. Starlight's turned things around. Don't you worry. You'll be seeing stars soon, Danielle. Fear not. Starlight, though, notice she has stayed out of the match whenever Nightingale is in. What do you know that we don't about Starlight and Nightingale? It is not important what the relationship between those two is, quite honestly. It is none of your business. Well, all right, then. Keep your secrets, I suppose. We'll find out one way or another eventually. We found out about Connell and Cammy at some point. We found out about Xander and Elizabeth at one point. So now a tag is made back to Madam Atlas and the world's strongest woman into the mix. Indeed she does. Madam Atlas is in, but look at this. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, Madam Atlas made to look small at the moment by Danielle Smith. Who hits it with an iron claw. Tag is made and the Nightingale is in. Nightingale now looking to take flight. Nightingale and there's the mix. Running clothesline wiping out Madam Atlas. And now Nightingale hits the ropes. Big knee strike taking her down. Nightingale now blows a kiss to the Quiz Queen. She'll soon pay for that, don't worry. Quiz Queen looking to handle business herself and end things here. Well, Quiz Queen runs in with a clothesline, knocking down Nightingale. Nightingale goes down, Quiz Queen hits her with another clothesline. Queen of the Circus Day on top here with a drop kick to take her down. Quiz Queen now. Oh no! Nightingale looks like she might end it here. Nightingale. There's the knee strike that she's won so many matches with before. And now Nightingale, right hook knocks down Madam Atlas. Drop kick sends a crashing to the floor. Turns her attention back to Starlight now, but turns her attention to the Quiz Queen. Nightingale dragging it towards the center of the ring now. Nightingale has her where she wants it. Nightingale going up to the top rope. This is about to be it. So much for his animating a moment, Quiz Master. Oh, what the? Who the? Who the hell's this? <laughs> All in due time, Time Lord. Watch this. Queen of the Circus calling for the curtain call. Who in the world is that? Fear not. I said it would be a night for the whole Queen Circus, LS11 Universe, LSWF roster. Meet Quizette. Will Quiz Queen tag Starlight in? And Starlight, you told her not to fear hitting the Nightingale the other night. 6 30 Centon. Count it. 2 3. I told you we would have our Xandamania moment, and here we are. Well, you didn't lie, the Queen Circus with their Xandamania moment tonight. Quiz Queen. Starlight, Madam Atlas, the Queen Circus pick up the victory in this six-woman tag team match. With the debut of Quizette, is that what you said her name is? Indeed I did. The circus grows ever stronger. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Quiz Queen gets the win at Xandamania. It is now time for the main event. Xander and Hanzo, right now.
Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest scheduled for one fall is for the LS11 Wrestling Federation World Heavyweight Championship. And it's your Xenomania 7 main event. That is sending a message, to say the least. That is right, because for those who do not know, as Hanzo makes his way to the ring, serenaded by the song One Winged Angel, this song and the man associated with it, the One Winged Angel Sephiroth, hold a very special place in the hatred of the heart of one Xander Carver. Hanzo has been trying to get in Xander's head for months, and now tonight, it looks like he found exactly what it needed. The exact thing to get in Xander's head, channeling the One-Winged Angel tonight. Hanzo has been using the wrestling move, the One-Winged Angel, for quite some time now. And now tonight in the main event of Xanomania, not using his normal theme song, wearing, notice, the colors. Xander normally wears black, gold, and some purple in there too, I see. Hanzo has been talking about how he's going to rise up and become the new face of LSWF tonight. A new era in LSWF begins tonight when he beats Xander. So, Hanzo's made his way to the ring. Let's bring out the champion. Oh lord, he's got a god, com a god complex. So it would seem, the world champion is here. Xander Carver main eventing Xander Mania for the first time since 2017. That is right, Xander making his way to the ring. The LSWF world champion tonight. The old god looking to defend his crown for another night, the man who says that he is the game around here. Xander says that things run on his time. We play by his rules in the LSWF. Xander making his way down to the ring tonight. Xander and Hanzo, this is their first matchup against one another. There have been so much, so much animosity, so much hatred between the two of them. Tonight, it finally comes to a head. That is right, and as someone who has stepped across the ring from both of these men, I can confirm that neither of them are men that you want to step across the ring from, especially when they're in a bad mood, and you know after what happened last week, where he was laid out by the super kick and one winged angel from Hanzo, Xander is in a horrible, horrible mood. Between that and everything else going on, he's definitely not the happiest person in the world, I can tell you that much, just from talking to him recently. Xander's made his way to the ring. This is his biggest, this is the biggest stage he's been able to defend a championship on in his entire career. You look back at all of his previous title runs he's had in his life. His YouTube Let's Play Heavyweight title run. 
I, I, he defended it the first Xenomania against me, but like d five people watched that, maybe. Now tonight, with hundreds watching, the LSWF World Championship is about to be on the line. Indeed it is. This is where the landscape is set for the LSWF for the remainder of the year. The challenger tonight, the leader of NRW, Hanzo. Hanzo, a clear fan favorite here tonight. But of course, his opponent, he is the reigning, defending LSWF World Heavyweight Champion, the LSWF General Manager, Xander Carver. He's not even taking his sunglasses off. Yeah, I noticed that too. Xander tonight defending the world title in the main event of Xander Mania. The first time the LSWF world title has been on the line at Xander Mania. The first time the LSWF world, the LSWF has done a Xander Mania show. The seventh annual Xander Mania minus that one year we had to skip. And now it's time for the main event. Here we go. The two just circling each other right now, soaking it in. This is the main event. Xander essentially saying, welcome to the big time. Xander's been here before. Oh, Hanzo went for a super kick. Xander. Oh, kick in the ribs. Xander. Pedigree. That's it. It's over. New record. No. Hanzo kicks out at one. Doctor, the referee's hand didn't even hit the mat for one. Now Xander's got to figure out what the hell's he going to do now. Hanzo turns it around and Hanzo going right for the face of Xander. Xander goes down immediately. Hanzo now gets him up and Hanzo grabs onto him, sending him off the ropes. The general manager gets caught for a German suplex from Hanzo. Hanzo wiping him out now. Hanzo grabs onto him, throws Xander off the ropes. Xander bounces off the ropes. Hanzo, oh, threw him in the air and dropped him. Xander goes down and Hanzo going to look to end it early now. Hanzo going to end the general manager. No, goes for one winged angel. Xander finds the counter to the one winged angel now and Xander. Oh, crucifix. One, no. Went for a crucifix takedown. Hanzo got the shoulders up. Now Xander has Hanzo down. Four on attempt. Hanzo finds the counter. Hanzo with a super kick knocks him down. Xander staggers back to his feet. Hanzo with Xander into the corner. Uppercut connects. Xander feeling the effects of that uppercut. It's rattled him. Hanzo getting him back up to his feet now. And Hanzo with a kick. There's a chop. Fighting away with another chop. Xander goes down. Hanzo. German suplex into a cover. For the one. No. Kick out from Xander. Hanzo now sitting on top. Dropping elbows on him. Xander's down. Hanzo going up to the top rope now. And Hanzo. Gonna look to fly. Frog Splash connects. It's been very much a one-sided affair for Hanzo at the moment. Hanzo now throws Xander across the ring. Off the turnbuckle, down he goes. There's a stomp to the back of the head. Hanzo with a kick again to the back of the head. Xander's down. Hanzo goes for another kick. Xander with a punch to the gut. Xander now knocking him back. Knee strike connects and Xander fires away. Grabs hold of Hanzo now and throws him off the rope. Xander ducks him. Hops over him now, and Xander, no, Hanzo, knocking him away with right hooks. Big backflip kick. Xander goes into the ropes. Knee strike from Hanzo, taking down the GM. Xander is down. Hanzo is bringing the fire, and Hanzo dives to the outside. Hanzo is bringing the fight, bringing the fire, and Xander is not able to keep up. Hanzo now on the apron. Moonsaults on the Xander. Xander feeling the effects once again. Hanzo getting him back up to his feet now. And Hanzo into the steps with Xander. I think the Hanzo era is about to start, folks. It's exactly what people were saying. Went for a super kick. Xander out of the way. Superman punch. Xander dishes out a Superman punch to Hanzo. Oh, went for another. Hanzo out of the way. Super kick. Xander's been busted open. Got him right above the eye. Xander goes down. Hanzo sends him into the barricade. Spine buster. Xander's head caught the steps on the way down. Xander is down. Hanzo to end it. 
throws him back into the ring. Hanzo up to the top rope now, and Xander's down. Hanzo to the top, gonna look to end it. Oh, went for a cannonball, Xander finally gets out of the way. Xander finally starting to get some offense of his own into the matchup now. As a kick to the knees, Xander, knee strike knocks back Hanzo. And another. Xander knocking him back now, roundhouse kick, forearm strike, Xander. Grabs hold of Hanzo and Xander with Hanzo off the ropes. Hanzo into the ropes now. Xander goes for a clothesline. Oh, knee into the back, taking down Hanzo. Hanzo goes down. Xander looking to end him now. He's got him in the center of the ring. Oh, went for a super kick. Hanzo out of the way. Oh, what a back fist from Xander, though. Knocked him down. And Xander oh, grabs the hair of Hanzo into a cross face using Hanzo's own arm against him. Hanzo is down, Xander pulling back on the head of Hanzo. He's got him down now and Hanzo, could he have to tab out in the main event? Hanzo elbowing his way out of it, going right after the cut on the side of Xander's head. Taking him down, Hanzo comes off the ropes. Oh, went for a big knee strike. Xander with a stomp in the ribs, knocking him down. Xander staying on top of him, Xander, no, Hanzo, oh, went for a clothesline, neck breaker from Hanzo, Xander is down, now Hanzo with a spinning kick to the head, knocking down Xander, now Hanzo up on the apron, Xander tries to grab him, Hanzo with a headbutt knocking him down, and Hanzo, springboard, frog splash, Xander's out of it, Hanzo has been dominating this matchup thus far, it could be all over in a matter of moments here for Xander's LSWF world title reign. Hanzo now turns him around. Hanzo, no. Xander finds the counter. Punches him in the back again. Xander grabs onto Hanzo now. And Xander with Hanzo. Throws him off the rope. Xander throws him out of the ring. And now Xander the top rope. Xander doesn't fly very often. Oh, and that's why he crashes and burns. Hanzo grabs onto the general manager. Throws him into the barricades. Down goes Xander. Xander feeling the effects now. Hanzo gets a hold of him again. And Hanzo. Oh, sent him into the announce table. Hanzo's got him down. Xander getting picked back up to his feet. Xander in trouble. Hanzo throws him back into the ring. Hanzo now rises up on the apron. Going to look to end it here. Hanzo going to fly. Oh, went for a forearm strike from the sky. Xander out of the way. Xander kicks him in the knee, kicks him in the jaw, it's over, Hanzo's down, Xander could have broken his jaw with that kick, Xander mounts him again, more ground and pound offense coming in from the general manager, Xander's got him down, Hanzo rolls him over now, and Hanzo forearm strikes, knock him down, Xander now knocks him back with a kick, Xander now throws him over the top rope, out to the outside goes Hanzo, Xander's got a hold of him now, and Xander with the number one contender. Taking him towards the table, slams him head first. Off the announce table, he goes down. Hanzo is down in a heap on the floor. Xander getting him back up to his feet, and Xander sends him into the barricades, throwing off the announce table cover and wiping the table off. What is Xander thinking here? He's thinking of cutting Hanzo's career short, is what he's thinking. Oh, he gets caught with a clothesline. Hanzo returns the champion to his feet now, and Hanzo into the barricades goes the GM. Throws him into the announce table, and down he goes. Xander crashes into a heap on the floor after bouncing off the announce table. Hanzo coming back up to his feet with a chop, and Hanzo firing away. Hanzo, oh, knocks him into the announce table again. Xander staggers. Hanzo went for a super kick. And now Xander with Hanzo. Into the announce table, Hanzo's been busted open. The challenger now bleeding as the champion is as well. Xander sends him into the announce table and Xander does it again. Hanzo being used against the announce table, repeatedly thrown into it. Oh, and Xander looking to end it now. Xander gets up onto the table with Hanzo and Xander up on the table. Pulls Hanzo in. Power bomb! Hanzo implodes through the table. This crowd saying it could be all over here. Xander sends Hanzo back into the ring. It's about to be over, folks. Xander back in. 
Turns Onzo over now and Xander into a cover for the victory. For the one, for the two. No! Onzo gets the shoulders up. Xander mounts him now and Xander into the ground and pound offense once again. Honzo goes down, Zana goes for ground and pound again. Honzo counters though, and Honzo taking him down. Zana staggers back up to his feet now. Honzo. Oh, went for the super kick. Got him! Honzo with a super kick on the money. Xander is down. Honzo has him knocked halfway across the ring. Forearm attempts Xander out of the way. Xander rolls out of the way. Xander kicks him in the ribs. Here we go. Going for another. Pedigree! A second pedigree, there's one, two, Hanzo kicked out again. Hanzo gets the shoulders up off the pedigree, somehow, some way. And now Hanzo, small package for the one, two, no. And now Hanzo gets taken down at the leg, Xander's got him down. Xander, ground and pound, taking him down. Kicks him in the ribs. Oh, and Xander throws him into the corner. And now Xander with Hanzo repeatedly knee striking him in the corner. Xander knee strikes, taking him down. And Xander down. Xander with a kick to the ribs, putting his boots to the face repeatedly. Up the ropes. Kicks him in the face again. Xander's got him down now. And Xander gets Hanzo back up to his feet. Forearm strike, knocking him down. Xander has got Hanzo where he wants him now into a bulldog choke. Trying to put Hanzo down for good here. Xander, this is his moment. He, he wants to win in the main event with Xander Mania. Something he's never done. The event is named after him. He's never won in the main event. Oh, Hanzo with a kick to the face. Xander's down. Hanzo gets him back to his feet. Hanzo coming off the ropes. Big backflip kick connects. And Hanzo... Oh, with these strikes, Xander sends him out to the floor. And Xander, oh my god! Flies over the top! Hanzo picked back up to his feet, and Hanzo thrown back into the ring by Xander. And now Xander's got him down. What is Xander thinking here? Grabs onto the arms of Hanzo and Xander, stomping him repeatedly into the mat. Hanzo going to feel the effects of that one, that's for sure. Takes him down with a forearm strike. Superman punch. Xander's got him down. Xander now into the corner. Oh, went for another one. Hanzo out of the way. Super kick attempt. Xander out of the way. Counter to counter here. Big back and forth exchange. Who's spinning back fist? Knocks him down. Does Hanzo? Or knocks him down. Does Xander? Excuse me. Hanzo goes down now, and Xander into an ankle lock. We know that Kurt Angle is one of Xander's favorite wrestlers of all time. He knows that ankle lock is a very effective submission maneuver. Hanzo in some serious trouble here. Xander has it in. Hanzo shoves him away. Down he goes. Oh, the backflip kick knocks him in the corner. Uppercut from Hanzo. Xander's got him down. Hanzo off the ropes, big backflip kick again. Spinning kick to the head. This is Hanzo's moment, folks. Here we go, frog splash. Xander is down, Hanzo. Spine buster. Xander is down, Hanzo, to end it for good here. If he hits the one-winged angel, it's gonna be over. He's got Xander up. Hanzo, one, winged angel. One, two, no! Xander finds a way to kick out of the one winged angel. Hit with a moonsault though. Xander might have kicked out of one winged angel, but he is still down and out. Hanzo with a barrage of moonsaults coming in on him now. I went for him again, Xander out of the way, Xander with a kick down, Xander. Knee strike connects, knocks back Honzo. Now Xander, oh, counters, kicks him in the, in the ribs. Honzo goes down now, Xander mounts him again, Honzo turns it over. Honzo has got him down now, and Honzo 
Telling Xander to get back to his feet. Xander staggers. Hanzo with a knee into the back of the general manager again. Xander's down. Hanzo, forearm strike connects. Hanzo, thrown off the ropes. Over the top rope, out to the floor. And Xander with a knee to the head. Now Xander has him down. Xander to the top rope again. Looking to fly. Xander. He's got Honzo down. Oh! Dives with a forearm off the top rope. Xander's got Honzo down on the outside. And Xander. Oh! A moonsault off the apron. Doing what Honzo did to him earlier. Xander turns him over now on the outside. Xander getting Honzo back up to his feet. Xander goes for a kick. Honzo catches the leg. Honzo with a kick knocks him into the barricade. And another one. Xander in trouble. Honzo went for a super kick. Xander out of the way. Honzo now kicking him in the knees. Honzo firing away repeatedly. Xander in some serious trouble here. Honzo staying on top. Throws him back into the ring. Now Xander's got Xander's down. Honzo looking to end it. Here we go, Honzo. Oh, nearly got him. Honzo's tried for that forearm and failed many times. Superman punch from Xander. He's down. Honzo. Honzo is down. Xander with a kick in the ribs. Here we go. Third time. Pedigree. No, you can't see it because of the bloody ref. But Honzo countered it into a close line. Hanzo with the clothesline knocks down Xander. Might have ended the Xander Mania dreams. Oh, he falls out of the ring. Now Hanzo tries to fly. Oh! The referee didn't see it. Xander just blasted Hanzo out of the air with a sledgehammer. Got him in the head mid rotation. Knocked him into the barricades. Into the ring apron. Xander's got Hanzo down. Hanzo just took a bloody metal sledgehammer to the head. Xander, pedigree, one, two, three, by hook or by crook, he's done it, in the main event of Xander Mania, he's done it, just like that, Xander retains the LSWF world title in the main event, of Xandamania, as you said, by hook or by crook, he's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching tonight. Thank you all for an incredible Xandamania 7. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we'll see you all as in 24 hours at the Xandamania after party. Until next time, everybody, I've been the Doctor. I've been the Quiz Master. And that was LSWF. See you all tomorrow or the after party.